Megan, thanks so much. Well, it is time for this morning's Verify. As you know, our Verify team works to shut down fake claims from spreading online so you can get the truth. Now, there's been lots of opinions circulating about doing away with the Electoral College. It's been part of the discussion since the 2016 election cycle. Just last week, Senator Elizabeth Warren backed the idea at a town hall. So, our question, what would it actually take to abolish the Electoral College? Now, to get answers, our Verify team reached out to two political science professors. Our expert said getting rid of it would require amending Article 2, Section 1 of the Constitution. That needs the support of two-thirds of the House and the Senate. Then three-quarters of the state legislators have to vote yes to ratify that amendment. Now, only 27 amendments have been approved in 230 years. That last one, the 27th, was back in 1992. Now, there is the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact Bill. That wouldn't eliminate the Electoral College, but it would bypass it as a result of guaranteeing the presidency to the candidate who receives the most popular votes in all 50 states. The bill would go into effect if the law is passed by enough states to add up to 270 Electoral College votes. And that much is verified. Hey, do you have something you want verified? As always, I'm on Facebook and Twitter. You can also send me an email. That address listed right there on your screen, crogers2 at kcentv.com. I'm always happy to look into your claim.